Okay, so I can see why everybody is in a panic because they get no answers from the proper people that are running this whole government shenanigans bullshit. We've been stuck here in a tent for five days now under lockdown and still have no answers and nothing is getting moved forward. And there is some really good people out there trying to get around in a country that is locked down. You can't leave with two people on a motorcycle is absolutely impossible. So you're taking a risk of getting a 30,000 euro fine in order to get to a place or to get home. So it's been quite interesting, quite fun. And now that they're closing down the public washrooms and the campsites, we are finding ourselves in a position where it's take the, take the risk of being thrown in jail, locked up, going against their government wishes in Spain because the Canadian government hasn't done shit or give you any information. They haven't taken information down to where you are, what you're doing, what your situation is. All they do is say, uh, go to the email and run yourself in circles till you try and figure out your situation. Thanks, Canada. Appreciate it. to ponder all the people that are that are stuck in airports all around the world from Canada especially from Canada because we pay a lot in taxes and the government takes planes all over the world on a taxpayers dollar but they seem to neglect the fact that all these Canadians that they're trying to tell to hurry up and get home are stuck in places what is the problem with getting a plane to the tarmac in each major city and people in a certain uh, distance from that airport, go to a certain airport, put their ass on a plane, and send them home. Go, Come on, Canada, get your shit together. Enough is enough. People are stuck all over, stressed out, pissed off, and you've got them stuck in an airport not knowing how they're going to get home and what they're doing. I'm in a tent. I don't even have washroom facilities at this point, and I'm being kicked out of a campground. Canada needs to get their shit together. We're supposed to be one of the most caring countries in the world, and you're leaving your own people hanging out at airports. Okay, so you can hear the bike running in the background. I'm just warming it up, getting ready to take the chance to take it up and uh, put it in a safe storage while I try and get my ass out of Spain. A gentleman offered me his garage and uh, hopefully I don't get caught on the street. See ya. Okay, so I just had to leave my motorcycle with a complete stranger in Spain. Okay, so we managed to make it to the airport, or at least close to it enough to walk to it. Um, the Canadian government is taking their sweet ass time giving us, giving us an answer on how we're getting out of here. We have one more day, maybe two. I know all the motels are closing down. We ain't gonna have a place to stay, so we'll be ducking and shucking and jiving out of bushes and shit, trying to figure out how we're gonna do this. Hopefully, Canada gets their shit together and get the people out of here that they've been telling for a week and a half to get out and not being able to move around in quarantine down here has been really, really tough. Um, you can see a little movement today, not much. But I think we've been doing okay, and uh, hopefully we'll be back in Canada in a couple of days. And, and then gotta... the journey begins again on the Canadian side. Peace. We have one shot probably of getting out of here. We just got an email from the embassy that says that there is a flight tomorrow at three o'clock. Hopefully it's not packed and hopefully we get an answer back from the Canadian government that we are approved to get on this plane because we have no way of being on it if it's full. So stay away from people. If you guys think this is a joke, take a look around and just see there's very minimal traffic on the roads. The country is shut down. Take care of yourselves, stay clean, and stay away from people.